Becky here, Twilight Huntress. I have got my part two video for you to see. Sorry about the other one, I just don't wanna like drag things on too much and make super long videos. So the first two items, and this I still don't have a price on, but I have been waiting. This in particular is mine, it's for me. And it's the first one I won, $2. And it is a clean size. Mendelin duvet cover set. Now I don't want to pull this out and show you everything. I will open, oh it's cute, it's in a little zippered bag. A little zippered bag. So let's see. I'll just feel the, oh it feels good and it's not that polyester weirdness. It feels like silky smooth. I'm not going to pull it all the way out. My bed's not ready and I don't want to have this lying in a corner just collecting dust. Not nicely packaged but it's really pretty and it feels so smooth so I do not have a duvet comforter but I have enough comforters that I'm just gonna slip this on one of them but yeah I am excited for that my first bedding set one yeah okay so my third I don't know why is there a price on here? That's the question. $38. I don't think so, but who am I to say? I am the person to say this. What I'm about to pull out of here, I don't think would ever be $38. I do a lot of projects and I've never seen anything similar in an actual store cost this much. So what I got was the paint set. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be. So here we got, I guess, instructions. It's the no tape, just point and paint. Ooh, as seen on TV. Still don't think it's worth $38. Very poorly paint, uh, printed um, instruction manual of sorts, I guess. So we have this, which is huge. Like... Are you painting a whole wall with this? This this takes up a lot of real estate, I tell you. I'm not trying to paint my arm. I'm just trying to show you how big it is. It's huge. So here is the base with one of the foams. Here is... There we go. The handle feels really nice to hold, actually. And it's a nice size not complaining about the size of that you've got like a good grip on it i am not sure oh there goes one i'm not sure what these tiny foams are going to be for oh i'm not sure what these are for but let's see i guess no i'll have to read the instructions and see i was thinking maybe it just went into this part like not attached and maybe it does because it seems to be almost the right size, just a tad too big, like this. You see what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't have a clue what this thing's for. Am I missing stuff in here? So we got this funky monkey roller thing that looks like it should be clipped onto something. And then this little handle that moves back and forth. Um, this is a little bit confusing for me, so here we go again. I'm just going to quickly peek. It says roller, roller wheel. Oh, so the, this little piece here goes onto here into here and then you put an extension handle on there like my dumpster dive paint roller stick which I use for hooking garbage out of the dumpsters the big dumpsters so that the roller wheel I don't have a hot clue oh oh okay the roller wheel actually gets put into the tray the paint tray here you can see the little you can see it better this way. You can see that little piece there. So that sits in there and I guess when you're um, trying to get excess paint off of it, 
you're rolling it. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. Okay. But look at all the fibers that came off that foam. Do you really want that on your walls? Can you see the fibers and stuff? The little white stuff? No, oh, thank you. But anyway, it is a cool little thing. Two bucks, definitely worth it to me. Um, the price tag of whatever it was, what was it $44 or $38? Definitely not. So anyway, on to the next amazing thing I got in the mail today. So in this bag, I had two items come, two totally random different items. This is why I keep thinking that everything on Wish, yeah, it's got sellers, but are they actually the sellers? Because it wasn't from the same seller, but it came in the same bag. Or are all the sellers on, on Wish um, drop shippers? Like they all kind of subscribe to the product, but it's all coming from Wish as a whole. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. What Canada Post the other day makes sense because they're taking everything that I had coming and throwing it into one bag. This doesn't make sense. So another bedding set. And this time it is a bed spread and it would have been $44 and it's queen size. Now I tried because I told my mom I was going to win her something for her bed. So I've got a few others coming so she can choose what she wants. This is more um, maybe her speed, maybe not. I've got some really pretty ones coming. This one is a rose pattern um, bed spread. It's not a duvet cover. It's not. It's a bed spread, as you will see in the picture, as long as I post the picture. I say that sometimes, and then I don't post the picture. But I'm going to pull out one of the pillow shims. We have two pillow shims here. I thought it was roses. It looks more like peonies to me now that I have it open. Probably is peonies. But it's really pretty. So pretty. It looks a little bit more red in the video when I'm looking at it, but maybe it's not that bad. We all know that I'm usually in here. So. It's pretty. It's soft, just like that Madeleine, um duvet cover set. Hopefully the sizing is correct. And looks like the stitching is really nicely done. I know it's probably mass produced, but as long as the machines are working, it doesn't matter. It has a little bit of a smell. I can smell it as I'm playing with it here. And... Do you know what? No. It, it has a smell, but it's not like a horrible smell. So there we go. Number two, another. That being said, I didn't even open this. I did not open this. Um, I knew what it was, and I figured I will open it with... Oh, I'm lose pieces of my paint. I'll open it with my friends on YouTube. Friends and or family. So this... It's kind of funny how all these things are now starting to trickle in. Now, I hope it's not broken. I hope... Oh, as something comes flying out the side. I'm scared. Good thing I actually brought my scissors with me. These are my sewing scissors. I know they're like massively huge, but they work well. Oh, this is cute. So what this is, is the retro. Um, I chose retro as far as the wood coloring. Plant holder. I'll show you it in the box. I don't want to drop it. It's like packaged okay, but still, it's not packaged that well. So I'm going to put this together if I can. So I can show you. Or I'll take a picture after I'm done the video. Or I'll just add it in another video. I don't know. I'm running out of time. I have to work today. So sorry. i got to throw this video out there and just get her done today. Okay. So that was the retro um plant holder, vase, whatever, um, price of it was supposed to be $18. That's not bad. That's not bad for that. But these, um, little vials are really small. So I guess like those air plants or whatever that sit in things that would suit that. But I'm going to actually not put this together, put it away for when I get my bedroom renovation done. That's going to go in my bedroom as a decorative piece. So 
Yeah. Good for that one. I like that one a lot. Okay, second last item. And I did not open this, and I should have made it because I do feel I need to open it carefully to not all of a sudden. Okay, I'll show you. It's supposed to be $48. It's a huge package. Huge in my world, anyway. Skinny. Huge. Huge and skinny. Tall and skinny. Sometimes I wish I was taller. But then I don't. Happy being knee high to a grasshopper, as they say, but you know. Let's see if I can just rip it open. I can't. They have like packing tape to the heck out of this thing. Packing tape to the heck. So, in the last few days, like the last few days, yesterday actually, I'm oh, sorry about that. Yesterday, I decided to make some of my dumpster candles. So, um, part of my giveaway prize, and I haven't got it mailed yet. I'm so sorry, Jen. Um, I just, I'm putting too much thought into this, and that's what I do sometimes. Like, overachiever moment there. But, um, you're getting one of my um, dumpster candles that I made. One of my candles I made out of dumpster candles. We'll put it like that. It's not a dumpster candle anymore. You're not getting a broken piece of anything. Okay, so this already doesn't look right to me because from what I looked up on my thing, I was supposed to be getting this in blue or did I get, or did I win two of them? <sighs> Do all that Lengthy research looking for items in my order history, and then I come up with the wrong one anyway. Or they sent me the wrong one. Who knows? Let's see. I kind of know what this is. It's supposed to be large. Oh, it's the right color. I guess I was just opening it upside down. So it is actually one of those dog pens which I'm going to very happily use. I, I got this for my little dog, for Sky, but I think I'm going to start using it on my big dog, my big dog, um, the older dog, Kong, because he's been horrible lately. Like, he's been horrible in the house. And it's not that he's old and hot man. He's just being bad, marking territory. So while I'm gone, when I'm outside or something this is what he does so this is cool and you know what I'm going to sit on my lazy butt right here I'm going to take this out I'm going to flip it open because it's going to definitely be used today hopefully I don't take out an eye as I do this because we know these spring loaded things so anyway there it is it seems to be solid it's cute I love that I got because they had blue and light blue and after I ordered this I'm like Oh no, did I get, because I just clicked on blue, and then I was thinking this was the light blue, and then I was going to get, like, the uglier one. The one. Well, it's not uglier, but it doesn't have the cute little footprint detail on it, which I really wanted. Anyway, let's open this up. Be afraid, Nikki, be very afraid. Okay, good. Not even popping open like I thought it would. I'm gonna definitely have to put a towel down in there or something to keep it from scratching up the bottom because that seems to be very. Wow, this is actually really big. Now the problem with this is getting him in here because he's gonna he doesn't very willingly go into close spaces like he goes into my big dog's kennel when I tell him to but this is going to be a little bit different for him so hopefully he behaves in here and doesn't so here we've got I don't know why I was looking at both ways the opening if you can see you can see um it's just a cool and it's the large so it's definitely big enough for like it would definitely be big enough only for it's got the top it's got is netted it's not open thank goodness they would definitely jump out of there 
Um, I've got a Boston Terrier pug cross and I have got my French Bulldog. They would fit in something like this perfectly. Any dog bigger definitely wouldn't. I'm just noticing though, I just set it down. I'm just noticing on the top there, and sorry, I'm kind of holding my GoPro at an angle for you, that this also zippers off the top. But it's a really cool little, it's kind of big, takes up a lot of space, I guess. But, do you know what? I need him to be contained, and i rather this than him be in a bedroom and make messes in there. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So yeah, great wish win for two bucks, and definitely was worth um, the price tag on it. Which, did I tell you how much that would have been? So I'm just tearing it all up and opening things. Yeah, I think I did. $48. So, yeah. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. One more item for you. And did you notice that in the background here, I figured that is a good place for my YouTube video because when I set it down on the chair beside me, usually it falls. I tried to set it up on my bookshelf and that would have been a great blooper for y'all to see because I was just about like peed my pants when it fell off the shelf and I was scared things were going to fall with it. <laughs> anyway, so anyway, yeah. Okay. My final item, it's a quite a large package. It would have been $69. Yes and no, I'm not sure about what. Ever. We'll just get into this and you tell me. This I have been waiting for almost as eagerly as my ring light. Like this I really need. I was hoping I could just slide it out of there, but apparently that is not gonna happen. Well, I can't say they didn't pack it well. Like, look at all this bubble tape. That, is, or bubble tape, all this bubble wrap with tape. Holy, that is crazy. So I got one of these makeup cases. I got the two layer makeup case. And, you know, I got a lot of makeup. Looks like it'd be definitely big enough for my palettes. I don't remember if I ordered it soft or hard inserts. That I don't recall. Unless this one only came one way. So what makes it a two layer? Because it's got this and this. And then the three layer this opens. I don't understand. So I ordered it hard. And it's got a little strap to use with it. Um, I'm glad I ordered it hard because the other case that I've been using for my makeup has soft inserts. And they're just all over. They hold nothing in there properly. But there you go. This is the inside. Um, I'm guessing this is second layer. I'm not sure what a one layer is. I should go look. So here I can hold all my makeup brushes. And... What more is there to say about that? I think maybe. No, this is not this is not a pocket. This is just the covering for this. But yeah, I can hold that in there. There's one little pocket in here that goes behind. Yeah. It goes behind the full length of the makeup brush area. And one little extra rigid insert to use, I, I guess. Be taking inserts out and making room for them because that is like really important that I get those put away properly. Whether or not my James Charles palette fits in here, I don't know. I may have to cut because this one rigid um, insert is one piece. That sucks. I wish somehow they could have figured it out to do whatever to make my life easier for me, for Nikki, of course. So yeah, happy with that. So incredibly happy with that. And here I saw in the back here is the little loops for the handle with the strap. And then of course a regular carrying handle, which I would sooner use than putting a strap on there. I don't know if the strap goes on all funny, but here's also a little loop. I've got this one and these. I have no idea. I'll figure it out later, but I got the two layer makeup bag and I'm really happy about this. It's a nice size. It'll fit almost everything. Almost everything. I was actually going to use this as my nail bag. Put my, my LED light in here and all my nail polishes and all that. 
maybe it will end up being that. Anyway, anyway. thanks so much for coming and watching part two of my limited quantity deal video today. Um, I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you're at in the world when you watch my video. Please do like, subscribe, comment below, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.